Okay, come on. Okay, I'm going to do a very quick truncated version of what's wrong with this drum set, or what's in, what's uh, uh, problematic about this drum set. So, first of all, music stand in front, out in front of you, right? Okay, if your ear, if your uh, eyes are good, mine aren't, uh, so I need it over here. But also, you cannot change any pages if it's longer than two pages long your chart. So, problematic. Uh, probably not the best place to put it. Uh, also, hi-hats, pretty small, throw in hi-hats, pretty hard to get a good, good, even, and, uh, dynamic range with your hi-hat. Okay, what else we got? Okay, snare drum. Snare drum's sort of down by my knee. I really have to work really hard to get a rim shot on that. Um, okay. Uh, also, floor tom. Th that's a stylistic thing but it's got a zero ring on it and it sort of makes it set the tone color is very different between the floor tom and the small tom listen right you have some muffling on some of the drums to make the larger ones you know uh, not resonate so much but that's pretty extreme okay also speaking of extreme so we got a symbol up way up here and it's almost flat so it's up high and almost flat so you're going to get pretty tired playing that cymbal way up there. It's going to get your shoulders, stuff like that. Same with this one. Right? It's way up here. Check out the difference between that and the cymbal. Uh, sorry, and the snare drum. So the other thing about that, too, is that it, it will, um, uh, you know, if you're riding on the cymbal, and in a jazz setting you ride on all the cymbals, it's going to be hard to, to keep that up because your your arm's way up in the air, okay? Get out of the idea of thinking of them as rides and crashes. They're just all symbols that you do both activities on. Okay, now we've got the other extreme with uh, the other symbols. Way down here, okay, so it's easy to get to, but to do any sort of color for things, you're sort of running into the floor tom, right? So probably, probably that could go up a bit. Uh, and just finally, before we're finished tonight, I also notice snare drum strainer. On the right-hand side of the snare drum, uh, most of the time you turn your snares on and off while you're playing, you're going to do it with your left hand. That's going to be really awkward to get to. Put it on the right-hand side or even just in front of you is also acceptable. Otherwise, you're going to give yourself some trouble. Okay, so that was a quick run-through because I had to do it on my phone. Uh, my Zoom ran out of batteries. Uh, but we'll be doing this again. Okay, see you soon and set up your drums so they're easy to play.